Hello everyone, I'm back. Today is a glasses wearing day. It's just one of those days. This time around, I got a request from user the blue cockatoo who asked, could you draw a feathered T-Rex? Drunk or not is up to you. And maybe I'm just gonna go blind with this <laughs> at their suggestion. I am gonna look up reference for a T-Rex, but I'm not gonna look up reference for a feathered T-Rex. Although I have seen images, so we'll just, we'll, it'll be interesting to see how much detail and how much realism I decide to go with this one. I'm going to drink a lot of white wine while making my dinner. I will be back after that, ready to draw and show you guys how to draw a feathered Tyrannosaurus Rex while drunk. All right, we're back. My face feels fuzzy, so that's how I know it's almost time to start. Also for dinner, I'm eating fried tofu. If you're someone doesn't know how to eat tofu, or you want to start but you don't know how, here is an easy peasy recipe. Salt your tofu, and then you just fry it. Don't be a helicopter parent. Leave it alone for like five minutes, then turn it over, leave it alone for five more minutes, and then you're gonna have some fried tofu and it's gonna taste good. And if you've got fucking white, tongue palette like I do. It's gonna taste great. I feel like I'm in a bubble. I think we're ready. Here's what I'm thinking. I'm going to look up T-Rex bones and I'm going to make my T-Rex based off those bones. Cause ain't nobody know what a T-Rex actually look like. All I have is the fucking skeletal remains. I'm gonna find the bones, which we know is real. And then I'm gonna draw over it. This is a good lesson anyways, because if you're starting out in drawing, a good way to help figure out your anatomy is by finding a skeleton, drawing the bones. Cause that's like the basic infrastructure. That's like the foundation, right? You can't have the house if you don't have the wireframe. Bones, and then we'll just fuck around with the muscles. At the blue cockatoo, I hope you enjoy this. I know my dad watches these because he was like, Kareen, you said the F word a lot. And you know what, dad, I love you, but I learned from the best. And you know my mom ain't person, so at least not in English. Okay, should we make the canvas longer? You know what I'm gonna say? I'm gonna say yes. Whoa. Here's what I'm gonna do. What did we learn last time? Basic shapes. We're gonna break this bitch down. If you're just starting to draw and you're thinking, I'm gonna start with a skeleton because Kareem said that maybe that's a good way to start. I'm gonna tell you right now, you're gonna look at this and be like, oh my God, I gotta draw every single fucking tooth. No, no you don't. Promise. If you're looking at this and you're feeling overwhelmed, like I gotta draw every single fucking thing over here, you don't have to. I'm gonna show you the secret. The secret is, say it with me, basic shapes. Look at this thing. I'm not gonna draw everything. I'm gonna go, you know what? This is the basic shape. Whoa, here's the lower jaw. I'm just tracing at this point. I'm fucking cheating, but you can cheat. And then for the teeth, you know, that's it, that's it, that's it. Let's have some fun with it. Let's make the sound effect. Here's the other side of the mandible. The mandible is your jaw. And that's like the other, you know how like, like we're gonna draw a cartoon T-Rex. Like, Rah! and sometimes people draw this. That's, that's what this is, okay? That's all, that's all that is. Here's the eye. <laughs> eh, he's angry. That's my attempt at fire, except I'm drunk, so I can't draw. Right. All right, well like, full disclosure, if I was just gonna draw this, like cartoon, blue cockatoo, this is what I would draw you if you said draw me a feather T-Rex. Why? Why? Wow. Whoop, whoop. The sound effects are mandatory. Boop. So this is like base Kareen 
feather T-Rex. I just want to get it out there. If you told me to draw a feather T-Rex, I'd be like, I got you, fam. Here's what it looks like. <laughs> and that would be it. Maybe you'd be cool with that. Maybe you'd be like, man, Kareem. No. But today we're going in hard realistic. I'm giving you actual facts. All right, now you're like, oh my God, there's the rest of the skeleton. What do I fucking do? All right, pay attention. This is the line of action. It is the most important line you will ever draw in your life. If you've never drawn, drawing is just like dot dot line, okay? The line of action is like, woo! Oh, hold on. Oh my God, we're having a time. Woo, okay. That could be a velociraptor. You got a velociraptor because you drew a fucking S. And I want to tell you something. The ancient Greeks discovered that S's are the best. They're the best lines. There's an S right here. S's are everywhere. They just are. They just, they make, I can't even get this token. They make, <laughs> oh no, it jumped. They make the most sense. Okay, I'm just here to tell you that. The human body is an S. This is someone that's like really, you know, has bad posture like me. But that's an S. This is an S, but like backwards. But the spine does S. That's why it starts with an S. Hey, you see this? There's a line. Follow that line. Boom. I'm not gonna draw all these things. Why? I don't need to. What we are gonna outline is fucking arm. We know the skin can't be down here because his bone is up here, right? Don't be stupid. Just know the skin, the skin is on top of the bone. Fuck. You, you know what? If you work in basic shapes, like, oh, this is the rib cage. That's your style. Fuck the critics. I don't know what I'm doing. The pelvis. Draw a pie. Now pretend you've got this weird friend that's like on this weird diet and they wanna eat the pie, but they don't wanna eat the whole pie, but they still wanna feel like they ate the pie. So they're like, you know what? I'm gonna cut the pie right here. And this is the part I'm gonna eat, right? And you've got like the whole rest of the pie here. And you're like, what the fuck? That's the pelvis. It's a wedge. It's like when you got a bridge and you got the fucking cornerstone. And it's like, this is the only thing holding this family together in the basic shapes. Imagine if they had like fucking elf ears. Oh my God, that looks, that looks demonic. Let's not have that. Legs start here. So they gotta hook it to that pelvic bone, which is right here. It's like Legos kind of. You know how Legos have that like weird piece like this? It's like that. So this is that piece that connects in here. You go out here, you can see this piece here. You draw a line. Here's the knee. You draw another line. Fun fact! This is what people look like. This is your hip, this is your knee, this is your ankle. This is the knee, right? But like, the foot doesn't stop right here. It keeps going. And that's exactly, like it's still a foot. This is technically the ankle. They walk on their toes. Just imagine your T-Rex is wearing high heels and it will all make sense to you. Oh, oh, we almost forgot. Here's the pelvis bone. That's like normally where the dick would hang out, but dinosaurs don't have dicks. They have something called a cloaca, which most birds have. And it's like a little hole back here where it just everything comes out of, including the sex. That's, that, that's your lesson. Cause I remember looking up, do dinosaurs have dicks? Because my friend Monzi and I sometimes pretend to be the velociraptors for Jurassic World. It's a thing, I won't get into it, but it's a lot of fun. And we were like, do dinosaurs have dicks? And I looked it up and they don't, they have cloacas or cloacas, however you pronounce it. Either way, we gotta make sure this pelvis bone gets some attention because it's important. And we're gonna be like, this is where, this is where science tells us the bare minimum for it is. Wow, we've got an outline. Here we go. What are we gonna do? I don't know. I, I'm not good at drawing dinosaurs. To me, the head is too big. But you know what? We're gonna go with it. We're gonna go puffy. So let's make this a girl T-Rex. Now, here's my thought. I think dinosaurs were just big birds. And for some reason, the feathers just didn't stay. Cause they look like birds. And doesn't make sense how a reptile this big can sustain itself cause reptiles are cold blooded. I don't, okay. I don't think dinosaurs are cold blooded. I'm gonna look it up right now. I don't think they are. 
controversial subject, particularly thermal thermal regulation. It was con or originally they thought, oh, they're sluggish, cumbersome, they're cold blooded. But when they found more complete skeletons, they were like, maybe they're warm blooded. I think they are warm blooded. There's no, like, Velociraptor Rex has to be warm blooded. There's no fucking way something can run that fast as a reptile. Like, cobras, I know, can strike really fast, but they're only moving, like, so far. You know, Velociraptor is running. The name comes from velocity, which means speed, but like more than just speed, you know? It's like speed and acceleration. I don't know physics, but I know it's like, it's more than just that. So like, you can't do that, I feel, I think. I'm not a paleontologist, but I think you can't do that if you're just purely cold-blooded. I think they're warm-blooded. I think they had fucking feathers. Okay, here's the muscle, here's the skin. What if, what if, what if we give him a beak? Let's give him a beak. Are beaks bone? No one fucking knows what a T-Rex looks like. This is my vision. This is what Blue Cockatoo wanted. And we're gonna have teeth, and we're gonna have an eye. That's, that's frightening. I've learned that like a good way to do dinosaurs is not make them skinny. Make them as fat as possible. You wanna know why? Godzilla. Godzilla is like a fucking tidal wave. And he's got like a weird snout. He's angry. But for the neck, don't do this. It's not gonna look good. Do like like a flap of skin here. Like if, if this is your pretend, do a flap of skin here that connects to that. Erase that. And then he's gonna look more like it. Like they just, they have like a jowl. They just do. Like Komodo dragon has like a thing here, like a flap, like, like an anoli lizard. Have you ever seen those? They're like the little lizards and they have like the, whoa, look at me, you know? It's like that. Oh, pigeons have that too. Fucking, look at this pigeon. First he's normal. Then he's like, whoa, look at me. I'm ready to mate. It's just, it's just gonna look better. Trust me. We're gonna guess a lot of this. Oh, he looks swole as fuck. And now like, this is looking kind of skinny. I'm gonna put more weight here. Cause remember what we have? The pelvic bone. So we're gonna, we're gonna give him a stomach and Clearly it has to like this bone comes out this way and there's gonna be a lot of skin here. So like that. That's that, that's what I like. I like something a little more like woo. Maybe it doesn't look like that, but we also we don't know. I'm allowed to make these decisions. And you're an artist. You're it's like Bob Ross. You're allowed to make whatever decision you want to make. And I just really like how that looks. Now we gotta have arms because it's just only got two legs. It's like, I'm coming after you, I don't have arms. What am I gonna grab you with? My arms aren't even useful, but I've got them anyways. T-Rex arms are my favorite part. Yeah. <laughs> They're so small. Oh, like you're useless, but we're gonna have them anyways. You know, honestly, it's wild that we even had these. Like, what the fuck? How, like what even, how? It's, oh my God, I'm, I'm getting into like an existential crisis here. It's on that vein, I have a friend. If you know me, you know this friend. If you don't know me, I'm not gonna tell you the friend's name. I have a friend who thinks dinosaur bones are fake because they think that Scientists, because you know how you don't always find the complete skeleton and the scientists will recreate like the plaster bone. They think that all the bones are just that. They just don't think that dinosaurs are real. And you know, I kind of get it because they're so weird. Like, what the fuck is this? What the fuck? Who? Why? This is generally what they think, but it's feathered. Blue cockatoos. Do you have cockatoos? Please let me know. Share a video of your cockatoos. I would love to see them because cockatoos are great. But this dinosaur has to have feathers. Okay, how are we gonna do that? I wanted to go the full bird row, root, route, root, whatever. We could just be like, whoop, done. You know, like it's only one feather, but that's kind of cheating and I already drew that. All right, so birds' beaks look like this. We're gonna go the bird row. Route, root. <gasps> okay, blue cockatoo. Since you rec you since you recommended this, you brought it up. We're gonna make it look like a cockatoo. Cause they've got 
Oh my God, this would be really funny. They've got like the, the thing, you know? So imagine if T-Rexes were just really aggressive cockatoos. Ostrich feathers, okay. Maybe it's like that. Maybe they're like ostrich feathers. Okay, maybe that's it. Cause you know honey ain't grabbing shit with those hands. I read somewhere T-Rexes don't have that strong of a bite force. Is that true? I don't know where I read it, but I know they're not hunters. They are hunter gatherers, but they're so big. People are like, oh my God, the biggest one's gotta be the best one, even though it's not true. But we're gonna fucking big bird this, this guy. But how do birds, they have a long tail, but there's like feathers on it and the feathers usually look like that. Did I fuck up? That's, that's what we're going with. <laughs> Oh, I don't know. But I like the idea of like a, like a, like a cockatoo. I think that's really cute. Oh, this thing got 10 times cuter. My friend Karen was making fun, I'm calling you out, Karen. She's making fun of me for fucking having 7 billion sketch layers. But then the bitch when she draws in traditional has three fucking sketch layers. I called her out on that bullshit. I'm like, honey, no, you do the same goddamn thing. She's like, oh, you're right. <gasps> We're gonna give him cheeks. The eyes of murder. I don't like this. I don't like this. I'm gonna change where the hands are. It's like, that's what the wings <laughs> look like. <laughs> They're useless, so it's just like that. It's gonna look like a really fluffy, fluffy bird. Somehow I fucked up. It looks like a peacock. Okay, this looks really weird. What if we just did it like a regular cockatoo? What if that's what it looks like? That just looks like like a really big cockatoo. But you know what? Like that's so okay. The T Rex initially was like this, but this is what I'm thinking. This is a lot. Oh, it's so cute, guys. Imagine just running around wreaking havoc on everything. It's like, I'm eating you, Rah. but then it evolves into a really cute cockatoo. I love it. And we're gonna have a weird tongue. Cockatoos have weird tongues. They just do. Cockatoos don't have cheeks, but I'm giving it a cheek because I can. Okay, we're just, you know what? This is good enough. Okay, that's really cute though. I really like that. I think we're ready for the line art, which is my least favorite part, but I think we're ready for it. Here's what we're gonna do. I don't like how that looks. The quest for the perfect line begins. Oh, that's cute. That's cute. I found that with feathers, just draw a bunch of fucking squiggly lines. The more squiggly that you draw them, the more cuter it will look. Look at this. Do these look like feathers? Hell no. But do they look cute? Hell yeah. I'm gonna take an artistic liberty. The best part about dinosaurs is they can't even tell you that you're doing it wrong because no one knows what they fucking look like. How do we want to do this, gang? Like this. Oh, I don't like that at all. The tail is always the fucking hardest part. Sometimes they sprawl out. Maybe, okay, let's try that. He's like, woo, you know, that's what I look like. I don't like that at all either. We're gonna do it like that. It just looks, honestly, this just looks like a fucking cockatoo, but it's a T-Rex. Like for scale, this is how tall you are. This is my rendition of a feathered T-Rex. I'm gonna have some line weight. Oh, guys, we almost forgot. Here we go. Mm -hmm. 
Imagine if Godzilla was feathered. Would he have better reception? Like, like would his public image be better? When you're not trying, is when your art comes up the most. Because, let me tell you, I'm not trying. My family used to keep ducks. We found a pair after Easter when I was in elementary school. And it was then that my mother and father realized that dinosaurs really were descended from birds because the way those ducks ate worms was like fucking T-Rex, Velociraptor. Look, we're fixing it. It looks so much better now. Because what? We are geniuses. You know what? I like that. It's cute! Does it look like a T-Rex? Maybe not. But this is... I'm going in blind. Okay. And this is what I think it would look like. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna color it really quickly. I don't want to. But cockatoos are freaking white. I'm going to color it white with a little bit of yellow and I'll be able to We'll leave this person here for scale. There we go. Okay. I'm not good at coloring. Let's, let's, let's look at that. This looks like it was fucking done in Microsoft Paint. Okay, I was watching some tutorials and some people were doing it like they only did the outline. Let's try that. Make sure we're actually careful about this. You're the artist. Decide what you want to do and what you don't want to do. I'm doing this in a really stupid way, but I don't care. Blue cockatoo. I hope this is everything you wanted. Alright, so this is all done. And we're going to fuck some shit up. Really bright yellow. You know what? Well, well I like that. So we're going to just fucking shloop, shloop. Shloop, shloop, shloop. Because I want to. There should be a little more yellow here. You know, we're gonna... We don't know what these things fucking look like. Like that. You can hear. Oh, it's so cute. It's so cute. All right. You know, next, next thing we're gonna do is gonna clean up this part. I want the white to look like feathers too. And we're gonna. I think that's fine. Now we're gonna add a little bit of shadow. I'm gonna have like a little bit here, and we're just doing this for depth. Oops, that's wrong. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Just to be like, there's a little more here than you were thinking, you know? Just pretend like, oh, you know, it's really dark there. And then we're gonna bloop, bloop. Just on the under. And I gotta go back here. I think that's the fuck there. Okay, that that okay. This looks cute. This this looks good. Now we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do something fun. We're gonna put like a like a shadow layer underneath here. There. And then we've got this person here. So now we know how big this fucking thing is. We see it. It's good. It's great. It's marvelous. It looks like it was done in paint. But there's our feathered T-Rex. That's what it looks like. That's what she looks like. And I think she looks beautiful. There. Beautiful, gorgeous. Here is the finished feathered T-Rex as requested by Cockatoo, the blue Cockatoo. This is what it looks like. I hope you enjoy it. And that's all I really have to say about this. Not that great. I'm at, this is as far as I'm gonna go. <laughs> I was drunk, please give me a break. But I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed it. And no one can tell me I'm wrong.
or drawing it like a cockatoo because we don't know what they look like. So that's the end of it. Hope you enjoyed. Subscribe for more and leave in the comments what animal you want to see me draw next because I'm taking suggestions. I'm prioritizing suggestions first. So yeah, show me if you followed along at all. God bless you if you did somehow. I'm just looking at this and not really liking it. But if you followed along at all, show me what you drew. Show me your rendition. Like, does your T-Rex look like an eagle? Maybe. Does it look like a parrot? Does it look like just a regular old T-Rex? Show me. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!